美味しいご飯は生きてるうちしか食べられないもんね
So, well, uh, but doesn't have, she doesn't have anything that raises the critical hit chance here. So, this may not work that well as you, as you believe, because you need to keep raising her critical hit chance. You can just use orbs for this. But her third uh, skill, it's more interesting. It's moderately favored and it increases defense and mag defense at the start of your turn. It says at the start of your turn, but it is the same as the start of each of your turns. So she keeps stacking defenses up to the fourth turn, and she will be very reliable to reduce the damage that incoming, especially against enemies that deal a lot of AoE damage, because, well, she's not a true tanker, she can't draw enemy attacks. So she's just there, if the enemy attacks her, uh, if the enemy does a lot of AoE damage, she will have a lot of reduced damage. That's interesting because you be able to use her with other characters that are also good uh, against damage, like Arn Green, you can use her alongside Arn Green. They don't compete for the same stuff, but they work on defensive squads. Okay, this is our her skills, we'll have to check the, the other stuff, that's her Unique Orb. Well, her Unique Orb, she's an E-Activate character, so that means that she's a first generation character, and she has the Blood Awake. And, you see, uh, the thing that she was lacking, the critical hit hate, is now on her Orb. So this improves all abilities and all critical hit on the start of your turn. Interesting that it says improves all abilities because E activate already increases all of her status. And uh, like I said, when it says improve all abilities, just improve all status. So she really relies on her orb to work as intended. So she gets more status by E activate and even more status by Blue Deck Wake and more critical hit at the start of your turn. It's also another good start, uh, good thing to, to see here. But, well, um, I think I need to make a, a fix here. It says at the start of your turn, and Motherly Favor also says at the start of your turn. Maybe this does not stack, as I said. Mm, that, well, uh, I heard from people on Discord that, that she stacks her defense, but it's not that the description doesn't really say this. So let me just check the information on Japan, Wikipedia, and, well, Gloria. Well, at least on our global uh, Wikipedia, there is no information from the, the values that it increases. Magic defense rise. Uh, no, no, it doesn't stack. Sorry, this doesn't stack. So she. Can still be used uh, when on defensive squads, but she won't get the same. Uh, the reverse thing like rage. Because we have rage, rage keeps stacking, but it's from offensive stuff. Who I just thought that she was a defensive type of rage. So it's less important, like I said, but also good because she she has the with her orb she increases all the, the status, so it also increases defensive status. Okay, so that's about Gloria. Gloria is uh, not exactly a good character for people that don't want to summon her orb. She really needs her orb, just like Rebecca, and she won't perform like like you expect because. It greatly increases her critical hit damage. It's, this one is just like the Edward critical hit increase, but she won't be able to really do much critical hits because her critical hit chance is just base, and there's no way to increase it without the orb. And the, the other orbs that increase critical hit chances have a trigger hit, and it's not never 100%. So that's why you really need her orb. So let's go for the next character, it's Marge, and Marge is a little different. Uh, I really like Marge because there's no gimmick on Marge. Marge is very straight, damage, and just that. She's made for damage, and she's a bull character that has very good status for this. You see Marge is a little more, uh, has less HP, she's a little more of a, what can I say, a glass cannon type of character. But also her physical magnificence are not that even that bad when you compare even to to Gloria. Gloria defensive is 873, but you see, even mag defense from, from merge is better. And the magic de physical defense is not even that low. So let's give a look on her attacks. And her attacks are mostly based on ice. Her diamond storm attack is based on ice, and her looting combo is her third attack is not elemental at all. The first one launches the enemy, and the two other attacks are just forward. 
Well, uh, what's interesting here is that both Diamond Storm and Lutin combo are very strong attacks. Uh, her surprise glide is just like the slide from Lenet. She just uh, slides through the enemy and it makes the enemy go up, but not that much. And there's the other uh, attacks are have a very good range. It's very hard to miss with Merge. Merge has very good attacks. Uh, well, let's just get a uh, look on the skills. Uh, also, another thing that Merge has a, a lot of hits. Merge has. A, let me just check here. But Merge has around 20. Uh, sorry, 12 hits. Uh, we said, well, I'll look for this. Uh, let me just give a look on other stuff. Her skills, well, the, the skills uh, from Merge are the best things from her kit. She uh, still shifts, it increases attack and magic. Like she is a both type of character, she needs to raise both attack and magic because, like you see, uh, the second attack, Diamond Storm, is bad on mag. So, both have the same values for both attack and mag most of the bows of at least, so she will get if, uh, the same values from the, the, the buff or bot attack and neg. And she also increases the critical drop rate. She has a, a very high number of hits, so this makes it even easy. Let me just get merge information here. And it's, that's the three stuff for a, for only one skill, so this is very good for a character of this type. And you see, the second one is called Thief Pride and greatly increases defense and mind and lower the chance of being cursed. So she's not that much of a class panel when you compare this stuff because she also increase, increases the defense and mag defense and also doesn't have many, many chances of being cursed. The third character skill is called Hilarious Rhythm and it improves critical hit hate and it also increases critical hit damage. It's one of the that characters that has uh, the most stuff on character skill that I have ever seen, it's a lot uh, of stuff, lots of utility. It's from all the elements, uh, all the status, mag, attack, uh, crystal drop chance, defense, mag defense, critical hit and critical hit damage. These are all the status that matters in the game. She gets uh, uh, a buffer to everything. So there's no way that this character cannot be used without orb. She is especially useful even without her orb, she just have a lot of good skills and she also raises the, call it, the hate and damage as well, so she doesn't really need her orb. And all, let's just talk about her orb, and her orb is the orb of hanger, and it's an E-activate type of orb, and it increases 1000 for attack and mag, and 500 for defense and mind, mind is mag defense. And the unique skill is called Strange Shadows and it increases attack and mag at the start of each turn. So this is the rage equivalent for merge, but also from two type of status. She increases both attack and mag. So she tries to fix the, the problem with the bow users that they, they don't know what to do. Merge really knows what the, the, she needs to do a lot of damage. She will be doing more damage as long as the turns keep passing. It's just the same as Arn Green or other characters that he have haste. And also she have more increased damage with ice attacks. Her orb makes her a good character for passing turns for longer fights, but without orb she's still a good character to be used on fast fights. That's how I can describe Merge. Merge is the best combination of all the passive skills that a bow user needs to perform well. Uh, it's strange because Evil has a better uh, review or better grade than Merge in Japan, but I don't really know why they did this because Merge, at least right now, Merge is a, one of the best characters in the game when you consider the, her type. She's a bow type character, and in the bow type, she's just the best comparing to uh, Evil, Nachi, and Selmiria. They are the best bow users in the game, but Merge is one of I don't know if she's better than exactly better the best bow user, but if she's not the best, she's one of the best. Okay, so this is how I describe her. She's at the best character, best bow user when comparing all the she needs to perform. So that's why uh, that's right, guys. Uh, this was my quick review on the, these characters. Uh, I will do uh, one for the the weapons, the Hala Hala, and also the Rossways. 
Uh, let's just check first the Hala Hala sword. This one is the guarantee from the banner. I think I just talk about something he of these weapons here. But, well, uh, it's good to just point some stuff that maybe not many people saw. And, well, the, the, neither of the weapons, when you click drop eight, you can check if these weapons are upgraded to legendary evolution. And neither then can upgrade. You can check here. Hala Hala and Ross Ways are not upgradable to le legendary evolution. And Hala Hala, it's has three usage counts and it deals very heavy physical damage to all enemies. We just tested it on, on Discord with some friends and it's the same damage, base damage as Trimolo, but Trimolo has two uses. And well, also Hala Hala has something better, and it's the Fire Encantment Large. The Fire Encantment Large, it was also tested, we just tested it on Discord some time ago. It in increases the fire damage by 20%, so besides just having uh, the same damage as three molars. It, it has one more use, and also a buff that will make the inch of the uses 20% more damage. Also, the Hala Hala Sword has more status, and compared to the three molo, it's around 20% more status. So, practically, what you're seeing here is almost double the damage of a three molo. It's good because of it. It's around the same as uh, the Hestia Sword that we have on Global right now. So. It's a good weapon, but uh, also comparable to the Ignite Sword that we got from free. But the Ignite Sword doesn't have that main status and also uh, doesn't have the Fire Encantment large that it makes the Hala Hala even better. So this sword is very good for the event, but when the best, the, when we get past this event, the best thing about this sword will be the Fire Encantment large. When equip it on sub weapon, it will increase 10% damage for fire type of element. So even if this sword gets uh, outclassed in the future, it will still be useful because of the sub. It's called the Fire Ink Mental Art, okay? Let's just talk about the bow now. It's the Ross Ways. Uh, this, this, this bow here is, uh, is interesting because it was given for free, but it's not a bad bow at all. People were complaining because they, they were saying that maybe the Ross Ways was not as strong as the Vorpal Shade, even having the same description. But they are wrong. The Rossways has the same base damage as the Vorpal Sheet. It's our second new type of weapon to kill bosses. The problem where they see less damage from the Rossways when compared to the Vorpal Shade is because the bow users are not exactly the best offensive oriented characters in the game. We saw something about Merge, and Merge has a lot of type of skills that can raise her damage, but most uh, don't have that that much. You see that also it uses magic. It's a bow that uses magic. Both type of weapons can either use magic or or fire attack when when uh, as a base for her active skills. So that happens with the the rush way. So you have to raise the mag status even if you need to use some staffs to raise even more mag instead of bows because staff usually gives a little more mag than bows. Both give the same values for both attack and mag, but because of it, it gives. Uh, yes, you can just see here, it fights and mag attack are 1.8k status. The Millennium Hall staff from killing event raised 2.2, so it's a little more than this. Even the Shrug staff gives more mag. So if you want just to do more damage with the Rossways, you maybe need to just use staffs. Well, I have the Rossways here, and I will just show you how I built it. And uh, that's how I built just for damage. The Rossways is here and it's maxed, but not the actual skill. For now, I will just. When the event ends, I will just upgrade it to level 5. I'm using the Shrook, it has 2.2, but also tempered to the max. And the Millennium Hall Staff tempered to the max and also has the free skill from Mag Up. So that's how I reached 5.6k Mag with Rebecca. And my Rebecca is not even that high on level. That's it, guys. If you have that much mag, it will do. Uh, when you compare uh, a character with the same value as attack for Vorpal Shade, will do the same damage as the Roshways. The problem with the Roshway is more that the it has the damage is divided on three hits, and the third hit takes some time to hit. And if you don't have other people attacking the enemy, 
the enemy may even guard the attack. You can see this happen a lot on the event, and the, the distribution damage is not a good thing for this weapon. With the Vorpal Shade, the enemy can just defend because it's launched. The first hit launches the enemy, the second hits in the air. So it's way better than the Rosh Rays on this stuff, at least. So let's get back to the Rosh Rays. There's more things to talk about it, and then. Let's click here on Weapon Details, it's the best thing for us to see. And it has the Lightning Encampment, it's just the same as the Ice Encampment from the Vorpal Shade, but it also has the Fuel Up. The Fuel Up is something that may trigger when you are attacking, and let's just see here. Oops. It's better to check right here, because we can just click on the item. It increases the purification, guys. Gauge by a set amount when performing an attack. It has an activation rate of 25%. It's not based on each hit, it's just for each attack. If it triggers, you get some more purification gauge attack uh, status. Just purification gauge, sorry. You get some more on the purification gauge bar. But it's not that much, it's just here for plus. It's uh, also taking space from a free slot on this bow. We don't have any free slot from the bow. Just the same as the Vorpal Shade. The Vorpal Shade has only the first and the second skill. And the third is blocked. You can only see the third and fourth slots on the Vorpal Shade if you upgrade it to Legendary Evolution. The Rossways cannot be upgraded to the Legendary Evolution. Uh, I'm not so sure if you can in Japan. I heard some stories that you can in Japan as well. You just can't. Okay, so, well, these were the two bows, uh, this bow is very important, I do hope, uh, recommend you guys to upgrade it to the max, and, well, Merge is a very character, good character to be used with the bow, uh, Rebecca not exactly, but Nachi is also another good character to use in this bow, because Nachi increases the skill damage, Nachi increases the damage dealt by action skills, and also the passive skill activation rate, she will be getting more chances of that triggering the the increase on the purification gauge, and she also has focus that will keep raising her mag. Nachi is just an incredible character. She's free and she's uh, comparable to Gacha characters. That is, guy. Uh, I don't have don't want to prolong this video any further. I hope this clarifies everything about this two new characters and two new weapons from the Valhalla side assault number three. Sorry for my mistakes. I'm not an English fluent speaker. I'm trying and trying to improve. But uh, just bear with me for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed so far, please do. I'm always posting Volcar Anatomy related stuff, and I have a lot of videos to release. Um, thanks. We we'll see each other on the next video.